So today, we're talking about something called biofilm, and specifically, how to get rid of it in your hot tub, like I'm about to do with my hot tub. So, before we do that though, what is biofilm? Biofilm is a collection of microorganisms, such as bacteria, fungus, and a single-celled type of organism called a protist. I don't know why you need to know that. I don't know why I need to know that, but that's part of what it is. So anyway, we want to get rid of it though. Why do we want to get rid of it? Because over time it can prevent your sanitizer and your shock from doing its job. So if you've ever had found yourself just continually adding chlorine or bromine and shock and it still seems to go away in a day or two, you probably have a biofilm buildup in your pipes and in your equipment and you need to get rid of it. So today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of it because we're going to do it in real time on my hot tub. Let's get going. First, we want to remove the filters from your hot tub. I have two right over there, so I've got to get those out first. So let's do that now. They're not the easiest to get to in my hot tub. Hopefully, they're easier to reach for you, and hopefully I don't fall in while trying to get these out. This one is a two-part filter. I'm going to set that right there. I hope I don't knock it over. So I got the second filter out, and we're just going to set those aside for the moment. I actually cleaned mine just a couple of days ago, so I don't really need to do anything else to them right this second. So next we want to add eight ounces of the O-Yuck cleaner. This is my favorite cleaner to get rid of biofilm. I'll put an Amazon link to it in the description of this video. It's definitely the best product on the market. So we're going to add eight ounces of that to my hot tub right now. This particular bottle is 16 ounces. So I'm going to add about half of this to the hot tub. And I'm just going to eyeball it. A little bit more. And a hair more. That's probably good. Now, I'm going to turn on the jets and let it circulate. I always turn my hot tub off when I'm shooting these videos because I don't want it suddenly coming on and making a lot of racket. So I got to flip the breaker back on first, then I'll turn on the jets and we're going to let it circulate for an hour. And I know what you're thinking, Jeff, I don't want to watch this for an hour. That's more exciting than paint drying. Don't worry, we're not going to sit here. I'm going to fast forward. But first, let's turn on the jets. So I just flipped the breaker on. I'm going to turn on every pump and jet and water feature that I have that will allow it to really circulate. Again, we're going to let this go for an hour before we do anything. The next step will be to drain the hot tub though, but we'll be back for that in just a minute. Okay, so it's been an hour since the Oyuk hot tub cleaner has been circulating in my tub. Now it's time to drain it, clean it, and refill it because that biofilm should be as good as gone. So. I'm going to show you how I like to drain my hot tub. You can hook a garden hose up to it and stick that hose somewhere in the yard in a non-conspicuous place and let it drain and it'll take a few hours to do it. I drain mine in about 15 minutes using a really cool device called a submersible pump. This is it right here. This is a float that kind of tells it when to shut off and it just the entire thing just sits down inside of the hot tub and then I've got a 25 foot hose that attaches to it that I run to an inconspicuous part of my yard to drain it. It drains in about 15 minutes. Trust me, this thing is worth its weight in gold in terms of getting you back online fast. So we're going to drain it right now. Then we're going to start fresh with new water and that biofilm is going to be completely gone. The water is going to be crystal clear and I'm going to use a lot less sanitizer and oxidizer moving forward until the next time I drain and clean my hot tub. Let's do it now. Okay. So like I mentioned, this is my submersible pump. I'm going to drop the entire thing in, and then I'm going to run the hose to an inconspicuous part of the yard. You never want to drain your hot tub water on garden beds or trees or flowers or plants or things that you care about. Even though I've let my hot tub get dirty on purpose for the purposes of this video, it's still got a lot of chemicals in there, and those chemicals can damage your lawn, can damage your trees and plants and things. So you always want to drain your hot tub, ideally at a, the city sewer drain if you have one close, otherwise just an inconspicuous part of your yard. Okay, 
This video is about removing biofilm, so I'm not going to make you sit through the entire process of draining and refilling and treating the water in the hot tub. That's not the purpose of this video, but I do have another video that walks you through the best way to drain, clean, and refill your hot tub. I'm going to link to it in the description of this video. You'll also see a card for that at the end of the video. You definitely want to check that out if you're not exactly sure of the best way to drain and refill your hot tub. I drain mine in as little as 15 minutes, so you're definitely going to want to check that video out. Once again, everyone, my name is Jeff Campbell. This is my channel, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I also have my website, hottubownerhq.com, and I'd love for you to hit that bell notification, that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, I'd love to see your comments down below. Even if you have constructive criticism for me, please share that with me. That's going to keep my channel growing and keep my videos getting better and better and better. If you have a question, I'd love to see that in the comments too. And if you have a suggestion for future videos, I'd love for you to share that with me also. Once again, Jeff Campbell, Hot Tub Owner HQ. I'll see you in the next one.